My name is Taylor with Studio I Do Bridals and you're watching The Debunked Bride. One of the most common conversations that our stylists have with their brides are brides who are wanting to lose weight or gain weight before the wedding day. Now, a little backstory on why we are doing this episode of The Debunked Bride. Typically, there aren't horror stories that happen. However, there is one instance in particular that I can remember. When we are deciding on sizing with our brides, we like to think that we are going to empower you to to make that sizing decision all on your own. We can give you all of the information and tools to make that educated decision, but at the end of the day, it is your wedding dress and it is your body. We had a beautiful bride and she fell in love with a gorgeous beaded fit and flare dress. She fit in the sample. The sample was a size 12. The bride, beautiful as she was, said that she was determined to drop her dress size to a bridal size 6. A 6 size? three dress sizes. If we're just gonna go a standard two inches between sizes, that's losing a total of six inches. We educated this bride. We encouraged her to go with the size dress that she tried on in store that fit her beautifully. And then once her dress comes in, she can certainly take in the gown to fit her body. We were even totally fine with her going down maybe one dress size in the event that it comes in and it maybe it's too snug that she can always let it out to that size 12. Needless to say, the dress came in it did not fit and the bride ended up taking our size 12 sample anyway. There are a few comforting reasons why you should say yes and not stress and don't wait to lose the weight. The number one reason why you should not stress and just say yes. Gowns are designed to be altered. A lot of the times gowns can be taken in up to two dress sizes and let out up to one bridal size without tampering with the integrity of the look of the dress. That being said, typically around 10 pounds is one bridal size. Typically when brides are choosing a size of their wedding dress, their measurements are putting them in between two sizes. And let's face it, we're women. We fluctuate every single day and every single month. Your dress will take about six to eight months to arrive into the store and you may have just naturally fluctuated anyway. Reason number two, which kind of ties into reason number one, you are not gonna have alterations until about three months out from your wedding day anyway. So what that means, even if your dress is not fitting you perfectly when you come to pick it up in the store, you are going to be able to perfect that fit with your seamstress right before the wedding day. Reason number three, probably one of the most important reasons why you should not stress and just say yes. No matter what size you are, you should never change yourself for a dress. You never want to change who you are for anyone or anything else. That's just life advice to carry with you anywhere. At the end of the day, you are planning a wedding and you have so many other things. Losing weight for your wedding day to fit into a dress should not be one of them. Your fiance proposed to you because they love you as you are. Do the same and do yourself a favor and come as you are wedding dress shopping and love yourself and love your body. Enjoy those cake tasting and food samplings. Celebrate that all of your bridal occasions. This is a moment where you should be able to have your cake and eat it too. Thank you again for watching this episode of The Debunked Bride.